So, now we'll start strategy section. After adjusting your website, we'll move to AdSense now. If you don't know what is AdSense, Google AdSense is a mediator between you and the advertiser. Advertisers pay AdSense to show their ads in your website, and Google AdSense manage all the process. We, as publishers, receive 68% of the click cost, and Google receives 32%. It is one of the most popular ways to make money online because it's very easy to use. It's owned and managed directly by Google and above all it works. So, we have to link our website with Google AdSense to earn money with it. This is done by sending a demand to AdSense and when you are approved, you can show AdSense ads and earn money by bringing traffic to your website. I'll put a basic tutorial attached below this video on how to open an AdSense account. But AdSense are restricting their laws every day, therefore it's becoming slightly hard to get accepted, but not if you apply those things paid domain name and good hosting. Before being accepted to the program, Google needs to check that your website adheres to the AdSense guidelines. Our goal is to make our website seem professional. As we have did in the previous video, we've actually purchased a paid domain, which is very important in our demand. Home pages are also very important privacy policy terms and conditions, contact us, and etc. We've attached everything in previous document. Some people say that your website should be two or three months old, but that wasn't in my case. You can be approved even with a new website. Your website must have enough text on for Google specialists to review. You need to put minimum 15 article in your website. To pass this step, you need to add AdSense code to your site so that the Google crawler can access your website's content. The most important thing you have to realize is that an actual Google employee is going to visit your site, click around and read your content. It's not a robot that just crawls around your site to check if you have everything outlined in their requirements list. That means, some ridiculously smart human being who works for Google is going to visit your site, click around, read your article, analyze your source code and then decide about it. Google gives a lot of value and attention to the content of the blog before accepting it. If the content is poorly written and has grammatical mistakes, Google will reject the blog right away. Not only the content needs to be grammatically correct, it must be unique and has to provide value to the users and readers of the blog. So, the number one reason is the poorly written content of your blog. So, this is the most important thing. Our website content will be the principal criteria. Our strategy to find quality unique content is like following. You go to YouTube and search for the topic related to your website and add some creative words like how ba banking works, an explanation of banking, tutorial, etc. You name it. And then, when you find a good video like this, go to transcript and it will be unique. I mean never published in a website before. Let's check it. This tool is paid. Let's use another tool. This one. So, as you see here, it's unique, 100%. So, we'll organize it and like this we found quality unique content easily and for free. Make sure you copy script from quality videos that gives rich informative content. Also, you must to stick to a publishing schedule, at least in the beginning. Show the reviewer that your site is a real site that's here to stay. A domain registered a few days ago with 20 posts bulk published on the same day and then known after that doesn't show that you have a real site that's being grown into a quality site. Show that it's being grown out consistently. Doesn't have to be every day, but if you can show that a new post is being added on every x number of days, it shows that the site is providing more and more value to readers as time goes on. Second strategy is to use PLR books. PLR ebooks or private label rights ebooks are ebooks with no copyrights. You can find them for free and download the one that is related to your topic and copy its content to create your own articles.
I know you are now confused about images, pictures of the article, because most images are very sensitive in terms of copyrights, even more than articles, don't worry. Here is a website to download free beautiful pictures without any copyrights, it's Pixiebuy. So, we've charged our website with a high quality content that is unique and original with proper headings and bullet lists free from grammar and spelling mistakes lying enough and useful and informative. Also, AdSense cares a lot about traffic coming to your website. You can share your articles on Reddit and Facebook groups to bring good amounts of traffic. Otherwise, put $1 every day on Facebook ads to charge your website with traffic. This is our strategy. There is another hack to get your website approved. You are going to add internet speed test script to your website by putting the screen that is attached below in this lecture in your website. As we said, we'll make our website professional as much as we can. Now, your website is ready to be reviewed and approved. You'll go to open a Google AdSense account. After creating the account, they will give you a code like this. You put it in your website and wait for review. See you next lecture. Le